other religions. Amen. You're going to start lining up with those who don't believe what you believe. Amen. I'm just paraphrasing. Verse 11. And in the day shalt thou make thy plant to grow, and the morning shalt thou make thy seed to flourish, but the harvest shall be a heap in the day of grief and of the desolate sorrow. What am I saying here? Let me see. So, because you forgot to acknowledge the rock of strength, who is that? Jesus. So, because you forgot to acknowledge, he is going to become the rock of offense. And he is not going to allow your crops to grow in heart. He ain't going to allow you to get delivered. He ain't going to allow you to prosper. He ain't going to allow nothing to go right in your life. This is God. This ain't the devil. Amen. 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 People will have you to believe that you are not preaching the gospel because this type of preaching offends. They want to keep living the same old way. But the gospel tells them they must change, repent, and they know when they see you, they got to go straight. They know when they see you. If you're really born again and you're not offended in Jesus and you say you want this thing, when people see that you're serious, they're going to go the other direction. Amen. They don't even want to hear it. Because they know you're coming to offend them. Why? Because you're trying to live right. Amen. If you want to live right, you come to sinners. Oh, yeah. They know. He taught Bible. He, he, he spread it. He know the Bible back and forth, upward and downward. But I know if I give him some kind of offense or trap, he's coming with me. Amen. Let me just wave the bottle in his nose. Let me just wave the blunt in her nose. Let me just wave the crack around him. And here they come. They forgot all about it. Amen. Here come the scandal line. Alright. <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> Go to 1 Peter. Go to 1 Peter. I wrote so much stuff down. Woo! 1 Peter. Chapter 2. First Peter chapter 2. Looking at verses 3. Starting at verse 1. Chapter 2, verse 1. Wherefore, lay aside all malice and all deceit and hypocrisy and envy and all evil speaking, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow there. Mm -hmm. If so be ye have tasted, now that word tasted it means experience. If you have experienced that the Lord is gracious, come on you. Amen. Come on. If you experience that the Lord is gracious, to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallow indeed of the men, but chosen of God and precious. You also, as living stones, are built up a spiritual, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect and precious. And he that liveth, I mean, he that believeth on him shall not be what? Confound. If you believe it on Jesus, you're not confused. That word confound means confused. Unto you therefore which believe, he is precious. But unto them which be disobedient, that stone which the builders disallow, the same is made the head of the cornerstone, and a stone of stumbling, and a rock of what? Offense. Even to them which stumble at the word. Mm -hmm. Y'all can hear me. <laughs> the ones who are not offended gonna get it. Amen? Amen. Which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. But you are a chosen generation. A holy nation, a peculiar people. That word peculiar means you're special to God. You're a special people. That you should show forth the praise of him who has called you out of what? Darkness into his what? Marvelous life. stumble at the word. Why are they stumbling? Because they're disobedient. Now, he is offending Christians in this verse. Did you know that? 
Nope. He's offending Christians because he said, I called you out of darkness into your marvelous light. He ain't talking to some sinners. He's talking to you who believe. That's right. Amen. 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 He is talking to Christians. Because when you are disobedient, he offends you. So instead of you getting mad at God, you get mad at the preacher. <laughs> you get mad at the preacher who is delivering you the message from God. This is why a lot of people are not getting saved. Why? Because our gospel offends. And people do not want to change. They want a gospel that says they can live any old kind of way, and I want and what I want, and then I can go and see Jesus. I can live any old kind of way I want, then I can go and see Jesus. I'll tell you, we'll see when you say, go to hell. Yeah. Amen. 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 He's even gonna call all the hell up there to meet him and say, go right back. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. We as Christians are not used to a Jesus that offends. We do not want to tell people that if they do not change, they are going to hell. Well, I'm telling you, if you don't change, you're going to hell. Because we do not want to offend them. So we want to talk revelation, we want to talk prosperity, we want to talk miracles, we want to talk signs and wonders and gifts and all that. But none of that works for you if you ain't living right. Amen. Amen. Preachers today want to give people a gospel that says don't change. Let me show from the word that it was prophesied that when Jesus got here, he would offend. Y'all ready for that? Yeah. Now, Jesus was a friend to sinners, but he never let his standards down. Jesus was a friend to sinners, mm -hmm. but he never did what they did. Amen. He never compromised. Mm -hmm. Amen. He didn't do what sinners do to win them. You know, people talk about, well, Paul made himself like them, and Paul made himself, well, Paul just up there and smoked crack with them, like I used to, <laughs> preaching the gospel. Oh, yeah, man, y'all need to get saved. <laughs> they were just laughing. Go ahead, preacher, keep talking. Give us some more money so we need some more. <laughs> Nobody received the Lord. Amen. You can't do what they do and expect them to get saved. Israel was so blind at the time of Jesus' birth that only two people saw him for whom he really was. Y'all know who those two people was? One was named Adam and the other one was named Simeon. Go to Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. Only two people in the whole Bible when Jesus birth saw, saw him for who he really was. Luke chapter 2. I like Luke because Luke is so detailed about it. Looking at verse 25. Ready? Luke 2 starting at verse 25. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was just and devout, waiting for the uh, consolation of Israel. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Amen. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child, Jesus, to do for him after the custom of the law, then took he him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now, let us thou, thy servant, depart in peace according to thy word. Verse 30. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to the light, lighten, and the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. Now watch this. Verse 34. And Simeon blessed him and said unto Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is set. Here's the order. This child is in order for a fall. Mm -hmm. This child is set in order for an offense. That word fall, it means offense, scandal. This child is set in order for a fall and rising again and many in Israel and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Yes, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There you go. That's why offenses come, to reveal your heart. Amen. Are you getting it? Amen. Amen. You get offended, God reveals your heart. Y'all see that? What 
what you said. The thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. He's going to offend you to reveal what you really like. Amen. 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 Keep reading. And there was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of, what's that, Phenom, and the tribe of Asher. And she was of great age and had lived with her husband seven years from her virginity. And she was a widow of what? About four score and four years. I mean, she was 84. Score means 20. Which departed not from the temple, but served God with fasting and prayers night and day. Mm -hmm. Verse 38. And she coming in an instant gave thanks likewise unto the Lord, and spake of him to all them that look for redemption in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So you got two old people who've been waiting, <laughs> and they're the only ones who recognize him for who he was. Amen? Amen. Amen. Oh, Jesus. This is the answer to why offenses will come. To reveal the thoughts of many hearts. Your heart is revealed when you are offended. Jesus is the one who will be offending people. Are you ready? Out of all the people you see get saved in church and on TV, only 5% stay committed to Jesus. Did y'all know that? Out of all those people you see, only 5%. That's a lot of folk. Especially, you know, the Billy Graham um, crusades and all that. You see all those people come up? Most of them were right back and begin to live way more. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, out of the 100% of y'all in here, 95% of y'all don't care what I'm saying. Amen. 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 95% of y'all could care less. Amen. But I'm only worried about the one. Amen. 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 Because the other 95% get offended. Mm -hmm. And not by the people, but by the Jesus in the people. Yes. Because when they sit down in church and find out what God really requires, they cannot deal with it. Oh, right. mm -hmm. When you finally start to study your word and say, I'm serious about you, God, and what he requires of you, yes. you can't handle it. Mm -hmm. Especially when you still want to sin. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be able to handle it. Amen. Amen. You know, people tell you, just say the name of Jesus, believe in Jesus. What Jesus is requiring you to do a little bit more than that. Amen. Call Amen. change your life. Amen. As long as they can come to church and don't change, it's all right. It's not that church is not preaching the gospel. The thing is that people's heart doesn't want to change and get right. Do your heart want to change and get right? Yes. Amen. 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 Let's look at a person who had a heart change. Ready? Go to John chapter 3. Go to John chapter 3. Let's just start right at uh, verse 1. Many of you might know this story, those of you who read your Bible. <coughs> if, you're, if you're there, say amen. 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 Ready? Start at verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. A ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. See, long as he's a teacher and a prophet or just a son of God, you can help. But watch what happens when he says, I am God. They're going to get offended. You call Jesus God, Jehovah's Witnesses get offended. Muslims get offended. Mormons get offended. Buddhists get offended. Confucius get offended. Because they don't want to live right. Because more is what? More than one white. Muslims, more than one white. Phony Christians, I can keep getting high and sitting and fornicating and don't have to believe in nothing. So if I die, Jesus is going to bring me in. Psych! <laughs> the devil has psyched you out. Amen. 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 Let's keep reading. Thou art teacher come from God. For no man do these miracles that doeth except God be with him. Look, even the Pharisees recognize God as him. How many people recognize God as in you? Amen. 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 How many look at you and say, oh, I know Jesus in you? Amen. Amen. Verse 3. Jesus answered and said unto them, Truly, truly, the word barely, barely means truly, truly. Truly, truly, I say unto thee, except a man be born again. Yes. Now I looked at that word again in the Greek. It means born above. The word it didn't mean unless a man be born from above. Not to be above. Oh, y'all can hear. He cannot see the kingdom of God. And the word 
He cannot see me. He cannot even understand the kingdom of God. Why? Because he has to be born from above. Amen. Oh, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Then the demon said unto him, verse 4, How can a man be born when he is old? Mm -hmm. Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Verse 5. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water, underline that, and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Water there is an idiom from the, for the word or the body. Unless he's born of the Bible and of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Verse 6. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto you, you must be born again. Mm -hmm. yes. The wind blow where it listen, where it listen, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot tell whence it come from, and whether it go. So, is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Now watch what Nicodemus said. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, how can these things be? Mm -hmm. You gotta find that. Yeah. How can these things be? Because you've got to be born of above. Let's go to verse 18, the same chapter. This is why Jesus began to answer. Ready? He said, He that believe on him is not condemned. Uh -huh. See, you got to understand something. I'm jumping ahead of myself. The Jews were disciples of the law. Yeah. They wrapped everything around the law. Pharisees, Sadducees, and Sadducees. They were disciples of the law. Jesus tried to tell him, until you become a believer, you're lost. Yeah. And we're going to prove it in a minute. Some of you are good disciples. You know your Bible. But you still don't believe. Right. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Woo. Mm. Mm. Here, your pen drop here. Mm. Yeah, amen. Mm. Let's keep reading. Verse 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not right. is condemned oh. already. Amen. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. How far do I have to go, Amen. Huh? Amen. I just offended an Islam person. 
Because anytime I put swine to your religion, I'm an infidel. You're supposed to kill me. Mm. So look at that looking around me. No weapon for him to get me shot. is going to change. Read yeah. verse 21 again. What does it say in verse 21? But he that doeth the truth cometh to the light, yeah. that his deeds may be manifested that are wrote in God. Why don't I put that out there? Amen. Amen. There is no such thing as a person receiving Jesus, and there is no and there is no outward change. You can't tell me you receive Jesus and have no outward change. When God does a work in your heart, it is manifested outwardly. Amen. We're some effect in your life. Uh, yes. You be talking about, well, brother, I'm born again. But you look like there's no change. Amen. The first thing that changed in me is I stopped cussing. Did that mean I've slipped up from time to time over the last 20 years? I sure have. Amen. 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 But I don't have a lifestyle of cussing. Amen. I was amazed when I first got born again. I wasn't cussing at all. <laughs> but I was still fornicating, still doing all kinds of crazy stuff, getting high, doing all these things. But there was a demonstration that I didn't recognize. My God, I didn't cuss him no more. Who did that? Jesus. Amen. Then as I began to walk with him, the high dropped off. The fornication dropped off. The lying and cheating dropped off. Yes. Amen. Every step of the way, something needs to be dropping off. Amen. 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 You are not going to get perfect overnight. But there are some signs of your salvation. What sign of your lifestyle right now that you have to tell people you're saved? Amen. Go to Acts 26. Woo, come on, you gotta move. Man, I ain't even. Wow. Acts 26. Uh, Acts 26. Acts 26. I got it. Well, we almost done. Already. I'm going to What verse, brother? I'll get there, brother. Acts 26. And we're going to be looking at verses, uh, go to verse 19 and 20. 26, 19, 20. We're going to be looking at King Agrippa, all right? Mm -hmm. This is great after Paul gave uh, an extra testimony about uh, his father in Damascus, but look at what King Agrippa says. Whereupon, O King Agrippa, I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision, but showed first unto them at Damascus and at Jerusalem and throughout all the coasts of Judea and then to the Gentiles that they should repent mm -hmm. and turn to God yeah. and do works meet for repentance. Yeah. Why do I bring it up? But now people say they want they want to repent and have not changed anything in their life. Oh man, I repented. I just saw you yesterday doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Repent ain't the same as confession. Repent means turn away from. Right. And if you can't turn away from, say God help me to turn. Mm -hmm. I still love this stuff. That's what the problem is. Y'all are such deep denial about your sin. If God is just waiting on you to say, Father, I can't do it without you. Amen. And if you don't help me, I'm going to keep doing it. Amen. Yeah. Then when he sends you the blessing to get you out of it, you refuse it. Uh, you are offended. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Amen. Go to Luke chapter 3. Y'all getting a lot of scriptures in that, Yes, Luke chapter 3. Amen. Luke chapter 3. Verse 1. Luke 3, look at verse 7. Luke 3, verse 7. Then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized with him, O generation of Bible now this is John the Baptist talking. John looking at him, he called him a quick from again. Amen. O you generation of Bible, who has warned you of the what? Wrath to come. Bring forth, therefore, fruits worthy of what? Repentance. And begin not to say within yourself, we have Abraham for our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Let's keep Amen. reading. And now, let me go back there. You see what he said right there? Don't say we have Abraham for our father. Amen. Some of you got preaching parents. My father's preaching. My uncle was preaching. My mom is a preacher. So, what I got to do with you? Amen. Amen. 